<laughs> I love that door knocker. We open on a woman who looks like she's about to be attacked. Instead, she's attacked by her husband. <laughs> Weird, but cute. <laughs> anyway, this is Greta and Victor, and they're happy because their daughter Anya is getting married. I finally get to meet this mystery man. But they haven't met the guy yet. So yeah, it's gonna be that kind of story, sort of. This country's been good to us, Greta. Not like the old country. Huddled by day in caves, lying terrified by night. Hated and murdered just for what we are. This is America. Everyone is welcome here. If only. Anyway, yeah, obviously they're not human. They've even got a nosy neighbor. Mrs. Peabody. She found dog tracks in her rose garden. Wanted to know if we had a pet. Yeah, they're werewolves, hence all the biting and such. He was in great shape. Took a while, but I wore him down. Still the leader of the pack. By the way, I love that along with all the body parts, there's a single package of cheese just marked cheese. <laughs> Kudos to the prop department. That just really tickles me. Anyway, Victor offers to bury some leftovers in the backyard, but Greta is saving it for the daughter's husband-to-be. He eats a little different from us, that's all. Are you telling me Stanley is not one of us? Okay, what is he? We're wolf or... No, 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 no. We're hyena. Ah, we're hyenas are a thing, and werewolves don't like them. No, no, not one of those mangy, slinking, bony, thing, flea-ridden, red rabbit cowards! But Anya loves him. I said no! He's so mad he starts to wolf out. I will not have a wear hyena for a son-in-law! Didn't you always say that here everyone deserves a fresh start? Old patrons have no place in America! Again, if only. So yeah, the idea is that hunters think that scavengers are beneath them. I forbid this marriage! And that hyena is not setting one scrawny paw inside this house! Greta has about had it and starts to wolf out a little herself. You will sit in your place as head of this household. <laughs> Go, Greta. And make this the nicest night of your daughter's life, or you will answer to me. <laughs> Enter Mrs. Kravitz, I mean Mrs. Peabody. Victor doesn't much care for her either. I was just fixing dinner and I was wondering if I could uh, borrow a cup of cheese. A cup of cheese? Well, they do have that, but... <laughs> Lovely. Oh yeah, she's got anatomy books along with cookbooks oh. in the kitchen. Despite the fun tone of this episode, that's kind of gruesome. Uh, like As Mrs. Peabody oh, noses around, I notice that she kind of dresses like the mom and Mr. Schlobber. I guess this sort of look wasn't totally unheard of in the 80s. We're a bit rushed tonight. My daughter and her fiancé are coming over. A fiancé? Oh, what does he do for a living? He's a scavenger. You can relate to that, can't you, Mrs. Peabody? She asks Victor if he's seen an animal running around. Trampling flower beds, howling. All oh, the paw prints seem to lead up to your lawn. Come to think of it, I do see a dog around here from time to time. Oh, burn. Uh, tell me, is your daughter's fiancé as unusual as the rest of you? What do you mean by that? Oh, don't misunderstand, honey. It's just that we don't have many foreigners in the neighborhood, that's all. I do love that they're using werewolves as a stand-in for foreigners in this episode. That's what this country's all about, right? Right. Oh, here, anybody can become a citizen. Nothing I can do about it. Not that I would. Nosy and racist. Maybe I can stop by later. How <laughs> you, sir? Wonderful. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. Is it ever? Later, Anya and Stanley are there at dinner and... You know how I've always had my heart set on a June wedding. Oh yeah, it's already not going well. Oh, this is Stanley Oval. I can hardly wait. Me neither, love cub. <laughs> not only is he unbearable to be around, but he just took the rest of the wine. Anyway, Victor has a creative way of asking what kind of provider Stanley will be. Your people aren't hunters. How do you expect to provide for my daughter? You think she'll be content with the scraps you find lying alongside highways and in restaurant trash cans? I didn't raise Anya to eat garbage. 
let alone marry it. Oh, another good burn from Victor. I love Stanley. And I love you and Mama. Now, I don't want to upset you, but I have to follow my heart. And what do you follow, Stanley? Buzzards? Oh, Papa! <laughs> Look, I insult him to his face, and he laughs! You know, real hyenas make that laughing sound when they're really scared and upset. I wonder if that's why Stanley is doing it. I sure wouldn't want to be on Victor's bad side. Do you know why my people have always hated yours? Because you're all cowards! Oh, I didn't realize it was Festivus already. We're just finishing up the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. Now, you're gonna hear about it. Why should I trust my daughter's faith with someone like you? Because I love her. Then prove it! Ah! And now it's time for the wrestling. Let's rumble! <laughs> so Stanley cheeses it. Bye, Anya. Oh! oh, Victor, shut up. Oh! I'm delighted! Oh! <laughs> so proud of himself. And now, of course, Mrs. Peabody is back. You're hiding something. And I'm gonna find out what. You really don't want to know, lady. What you did to that poor boy was inexcusable. I'll never see Stanley again! Never! You'll thank me later, I promise. Oh! Seems like that right there should have tipped her off. She looks in the window and actually sees Victor eating a foot like it's corn on the cob and assumes he killed Stanley and is eating him. As if they're being foreigners wasn't bad enough. So she calls the cops and... Ooh, neat phone. Oh, right, right, so I was wrong about the UFOs. And the Elvis sighting, but this time, I have got proof! So in other words, she's been crying wolf. Heh. <laughs> A little later, Greta tells Victor that he shouldn't have broken Anya's heart like he did. Remember the old days? Every time our people made a kill, there would be five of Stanley's kind ready to fight each other for our leftovers. Our life was hard, but theirs was miserable. Interesting little bit of werewolf and werehyena lore there. Nobody should have to live that way. Least of all a nice boy who loves our dog. Oh, yourself. I love this couple. All your life, you said this country gave people the chance to start over. Well, if we had that chance. Come on, now, what kind of an American would you be if you didn't give Stanley a chance to? A typical one. Come on, it just keeps dangling this low hanging fruit. I can't help it. Meanwhile, Stanley is trying to work up the nerve to go back in there and assert himself. All right, Stanley, you're going to go in and tell him exactly the way things should be. Exactly. Oh, I can't. So Mrs. Peabody hasn't met Stanley before, so she assumes he's the police. I want you to wipe out the whole pack of those foreign monsters. <laughs> wipe them out? Well, how else are we going to keep the neighborhood safe for decent American? He ends up finding another way to assert himself. Well, I got a pretty good idea. <laughs> hmm, eat the racists? Back in the house, Victor has decided to give Stanley a chance, so he tells Anya as much. I've decided to let you marry Stanley, if that's what you want. Oh, yes, Papa, yes, thank you. I just wish that boy had a little more backbone. <laughs> And Stanley returns. I just came back to tell you you're wrong about me. I love Anya, and nothing, nothing, nothing will keep us apart. <gasps> Go Stanley. That's a start. I also wanted to show you that I could be a good provider. Anyone for dessert? It's a little something I threw together. In such a short time, too, that took talent. Well, she did say she wanted to bring the dessert. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but welcome to the family, son. <gasps> and so ends One Wolf's Family. I love this one. It was so cute. We haven't had an episode this much fun since My Zombie Lover. And it's kind of a similar idea now that I think of it. Instead of sitcom parody but with zombies, we get sitcom parody but with werewolves and a werehyena. There was even a racism angle, though it wasn't so blatant here that it felt like part of the joke. 
I'm actually gonna go straight into the actors this time because as much fun as this episode is, it's fairly straightforward and the cast is really the most interesting thing about it. Of course, Victor was played by Jerry Stiller, a.k.a. Frank Costanza from Seinfeld. Among other things, but that's mostly where I know him. Greta was played by Jerry Stiller's wife, Ann Mira. I mostly know her as the neighbor on ALF. So yeah, they're a real married couple, which explains why they have such great chemistry. It doesn't end there, though. The daughter, Anya, was played by their daughter, Amy Stiller. That's great. I love that they got an actual family to play this family in this episode. The only one missing is Ben Stiller, not that he didn't do fine without the exposure. Oh, but I'm still not done with the interesting credits. You'll never guess who wrote this one. Paul Dini. Yes, that Paul Dini, the guy who created Batman the Animated Series and Batman Beyond, among other things. Basically the father of DC Animated Shows. Paul, Paul Dini, he wrote this episode. I think I need a nap now, this was too much excitement for one day. Next up is The Offering, see you then. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Here are some other videos you might be interested in. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to further support my channel, there's always Patreon. She mongrel, always nosing into other people's business. <sighs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm fighting a cold. <laughs>